The purpose of this training video is to familiarize field investigators with the supplemental questionnaire. We want to give all witnesses the opportunity to respond to this anonymous questionnaire as part of our data collection process. If they choose not to do so, it should not affect the progress of the investigation. We expect that the questionnaire will evolve quite a lot over time as we learn more and other researchers find that they have questions we haven't thought of. We'll try to keep this training material up to date. Please let us know if there are any changes needed. The presentation is broken down into three parts. Why we have the questionnaire. How it fits into our research. How the questionnaire works and what the questionnaire consists of. And when do we ask the witness to respond to the questionnaire? How does it fit into the investigative process? We use the questionnaire to gather statistical information about the witnesses that is correlated with the characteristics of the cases. We want to know more about who the witnesses are as a population and how they compare to the general population in a number of variables, especially related to belief system and life experience. The questionnaire is implemented as a Google form hosted on Google Drive. Anyone can access the form, but only API researchers can see the responses. Individual responses are not made public or referred to in the ROI for the case. The overall statistics of the responses may be made public. The only required field is the case number. Any other question can be skipped if the respondent is not comfortable with it. For actual cases, the FI will supply the case number to all the witnesses in the case who can be reached. For testing purposes, we are using case number 18-999. Please assure the witnesses that their responses will be treated as the same as personally identifying information, which they may well be, and will not be made public. The second section of the questionnaire is basic information. This includes such things as age, education level, gender, and military service. Section 3 is belief system. We want to know what sort of things people think are probably true or not true, including their beliefs in the supernatural, paranormal, and conspiracy theories. We also ask them to indicate their agreement with well-established science. Section 4 is life experience. This includes many kinds of adverse and anomalous experiences. Finally, we ask respondents to let us know what else we should have asked and how we can improve the questionnaire. There is a small risk of memory contamination by filling out the questionnaire especially the section on anomalous experiences. For this reason, we provide the link to the Google form and the case number to the witnesses only after we have conducted the initial round of interviews and fact-finding. So we hope this has been useful and helped you understand how the questionnaire is used and what it's for. If you have any questions, of course, feel free to ask. If you remember the general public and are just interested in how we perform our field investigations, by all means, let us know. You can contact us at ufo at aerial-phenomenon.org, or you can contact us with via encrypted email at reportaufo at protonmail.com. You can also report a UFO sighting to us using reportaufo.org. That's all you have to remember is reportaufo.org. Thank you for your attention.